One thing we've learned about SOPEN is that it can have a really big global impact. Over 1.5 million children under the age of five die each year due to infectious illnesses. A majority of these illnesses can be prevented by the simple act of washing your hands at key times. So pen is a soap pen. Kids can draw with it on their hands, and when they take it under water, it lathers and washes off. It's simple technology that can be scaled affordably and very easily in schools and in households across the world. It doesn't make sense to me that it's not easily accessible to everyone in the world. We saw the disparities growing up. We were lucky to have basic necessities, mm -hmm. and there's a huge population that doesn't even have access to soap. It was important for us to find something that was so fundamental to a child's well-being. If you just prevent that disease, mm -hmm. it's it's way better for the kid yeah. than them having to find healthcare, which doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Entering the soap industry as a startup is not easy. Obviously, like with any other product, there's technical expertise needed. So we had a very good sense of exactly how we wanted to look, how we wanted to feel, where we wanted to sit, all those things. But getting the right team together took months on end. I feel like we grow together as a team during the whole process. We're all basically new at this. We've gone back and forth on the littlest of things and made like the biggest mistakes with things that we are too embarrassed yeah. to even tell people that we're, we've done. There's always, always changes. Cost being one, the packaging being one, environmental, the human factor, all four of them. And you kind of have to balance all of them at one time and you never know which is the right balance. Obviously there are many rejections. There have been times when we've wanted to give up. To be a woman, not just in design, but also in this field of manufacturing. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't see going to factories. It's like mostly all men workers. When we're on the phone, they're very like, yes, we can do this, such a great product. And then you show up there and they realize you're like, not even 25. <laughs> we're always discussing if we should take someone older with, along with us when we go for these factory yeah. visits. We've decided, no, no not, not yet. <laughs> I think the James Dyson Award has given us a lot of recognition and credibility. There's no design award that's recognized as much as the James Dyson Award. Just having that stamp was really important and helpful. Yeah. James Dyson himself as a founder has been very inspiring because we've gone through numerous prototypes, just thousands and thousands of prototypes from packaging to labels to everything mm. under the sun. But to hear that James himself did that with the first vacuum prototype was really reassuring because we were like, all right, we're not the only crazy people out here. I think for our company, there's been two main missions to try to have some type of social impact. And the other one would be just to have the products have something that's fun. That SOPEN has the potential to save lives is almost overwhelming. I just think about it, and if a, such a fun product can have that impact, then it's like our duty to find a way to make sure it has that impact. <laughs>